<clears throat> oh my god, what a way to start out the live stream. So, I'll tell you a couple get things right away, guys. Um, I have a severe viral infection. As a lot of you guys roll in, I'll um, kind of remind you of that, so I can't really be loud. I don't know how long I'm going to do this, as long as my voice can really take it, I guess, as long as I feel like. But um, I'm going to do some improv on the guitar. Um, what's up, man? Going to do some improv on the guitar till a lot of people start coming in. And uh, then we'll start taking some reactions and stuff. So let's jam for a minute. This is just a backing track in D minor. And then, uh, like I said, once people start rolling in, we'll uh, react to some songs, all right? I'm just kind of staying warmed up here. Get in the mood. Here's some pentatonic grooves, man. Bon Jovi Dry Country? We've never listened to Bon Jovi on this channel. Maybe it's a first. can uh, pop in with the requests. What's up, man? What's up, Jordan? now nice little intro there I thought you guys might might enjoy that <clears throat> um, so for everybody that's rolling in here if you don't mind giving me some some love with some likes we can get started <clears throat> a couple things I am severely sick I just uh, had like a doctor on demand thing where you visit a doctor through video chat I have a viral infection in my throat and I'm exhausted. I just worked three 12-hour um, shifts at work, and I was sick the whole time. So I'll do my best. Hey, Michael. Um, let's see what we have. I'm going to react to some music here. Thanks for the love, guys. So, you know, um, Rivers of Neil. This is some, one that really comes up a lot. We're going to take a look at that. Um, All the time for a live stream that does requested reactions. Will you come to the right place? Um, okay, where the owls know my name has been one that I've been wanting to actually look at. Um, it's been requested a lot of times now. So let's check that out. Hey, what's up, Kim? How's it going? Good to see you. Um, okay, so let's listen to this thing. <laughs> I'll pause and kind of talk about it um, in between. 
And I did one of these like a week ago, last week. I've been pretty good about once a week on these things. And they like hit me with um, copyright stuff right away. So am I gonna grab some water? Hang on. Guys, sorry. It's like one swallow of water, but it'll work. Okay, let's see what I miss here. Hey guys, hey Tomo. Devin Townsend, March of the Pooser. I actually have already listened to that. That wasn't one of my favorite ones um, for some reason. But uh, let's listen to this. Here we go. I'll pause, kind of talk about it as I see fit. But they took down my other live reaction video, unfortunately. Drum, man. Drums are great. Shit. Rivers of Neil, where the owl, or Nile, I'm sorry, where the uh, owls know my name. just the dichotomy and the you know kind of a slow groove at first kind of an Alice in Ch Chains kind of harmony vibe and then um you know he's definitely changing with the lyrics talking about lost in eternity's grasp withdrawing further from what we built or from what we've known this mentality that we built it's breaking down that's right when the song changed into more of the uh, aggressive vocals and then uh kind of romanticizing it with saxophone as uh a very welcome element. All kinds of music I listen to. I'll catch up on chat in a second. Where owls know my name is the song. Space. Oh, man. I've got
got to rewind a little bit and hear that transition one more time. It changed into like a, what sounded like a, um, a major, a change into a major. I don't know what chord or what key. Hey, Tantra. Oh man, flawless. Yeah, man, old school rap like Coolio and shit like that. Why not? Not the biggest rap fan, but I'll listen to some of the old stuff. This is fucking great. Man, I love it. The transitions are just great to me. Goddamn, get it, boy, on that bass. My name by Rivers of is it Nile guys? I think it's Rivers of Nile. That makes more sense geologically. Thanks, Michael. Probably just changed the spelling for I don't know. Oh, it's gonna do a fade on us. That's kind of fun. That was uh, I think I think it's pronounced your uh, sorry rivers of Nile. I was reading somebody say you're welcome and I almost said that. Where owls know my name. Thanks, Michael. Um, for those of you just tuning in, very sick. So I won't be talking really loud. Um, let me catch up on chat. See if I missed anything here and check for the next song. Um, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, I like this chill atmosphere we're kind of going with. You guys got any more chill stuff like that? That's a song that if I were still able to smoke, I would roll a blunt and smoke one or whatever, whatever you want to say. I don't know. Smoke pot. There you go. That's how I say it. I don't know the cool kids way of saying it anymore. Um, name a chill song, guys. Let's do chill or you guys got any, uh, what's it? Sludge shit. Adams. Adams, what? Tr uh, Trinix? What is that? Let's see. <clears throat> All right. I've never. Trinix, Adams. Anybody heard of this? It's three minutes long. We're going to check it out. <clears throat> I haven't. It's fucking loud. It's fucking Beach Boys right here. Never mind. God damn, this is chill. Very different for this channel, man. Very welcome. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's rap. <laughs> okay. The first rap song in this channel. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me do this as much justice as possible. Are there lyrics for this? 
Uh, I don't see it. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna, let me rewind a little bit. That was very surprising. Uh, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna bear this out. Rap's not my favorite genre, but I'll give anything a shot. This is like a for somebody that listens to metal or somebody that doesn't listen to metal rather um and they and they tune in and hear something you know rah, and they're like it's not music i can't understand anything they're saying not saying that it's no uh kidney shot to this type of music but that's how i feel going into rap is i can't my my brain can't perceive and uh differentiate the words and the the flow i guess you could say um so it's just a very new realm to me to try to pay attention to the, the lyrics because that that's probably the point of rap is the the beat and the rhythm and the, and the lyrics and the flow um so it's it's hard for me to really just get into it so I should probably shut my mouth and listen no lyrics It's interesting because I usually go into an analysis musically. I like the the music samples that they're using in this. Um, obviously, that was that kind of blew my mind. The transition. Um, I just you know I I think I'm I've never been much of a uh, a person into lyrics and whatnot. It's always kind of the last thing I pay attention to. So for me to really dive into rap. Um, where the focal point would be lyrics and, uh, you know, spreading a message usually. Tough for me to really feel the music the same, um, but that is a very chill song. I do ident identify that as chill. I didn't hate it. Um, just kind of middle of the road for me, and I'm definitely open to more, um, more stuff like that. All right, let's see what we have here. So um, what's... Uh, let's see here. Silent Planet. I'm absent. Do you mean I'm absent? Or did they just um, say it wrong? For you guys tuning in, uh, you're gonna, I'm going to beat a dead horse here. What's up, your brain? Um, I'm very sick. So I'm not really... I sound like an asshole. Silent Planet. Are they the war guys? The guys that sing about war? Or was it I'm... Oh, it's in absence. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were trying to say I'm absent. All right. Uh, let's listen to this lyric video. Maybe that'll help. 
Silent Planet in Absence. Here we go. Find me in the silence. Have I heard these guys? I listen to Panic Room, okay. That guy can sing. that last chord. The chord change in the end didn't go where you expected it to go and I love that. It just adds another another dimension almost. right there just because uh i want to commend his his vocal ability i think i did on um was a panic room we listened to somebody you chimed in but uh listen to the dynamics of his of his vocals during this chorus he's he's almost at a whisper sometimes he's at a scream the guy's insane <laughs> Seamless. God. Very impressive. Guys, we can listen to any genre. I just listened to rap like five minutes ago. I'm open. Give me some good music and... guys are awesome uh, you know it's it's really uh that was called silent planet uh in absence is the song name you know they're very um very polished in the fact that they're um i think they're really overproduced um which isn't always a bad thing but it's just it's kind of their their thing you know they have excellent production value um wherever they're recording what whatever studio solid state records so I don't know where they're doing their stuff at, but um, I don't know. It, you know, sometimes it's it, it can get a little a little busy uh, when songs are overproduced. You know, like I guess the the best uh, the best song I, that comes to mind when I'm talking about overproduction is uh, Gary Clark Jr. has the the cover of the Beatles "Come Together," and I fucking hate it. I think it's the most overproduced hot garbage water thing I've heard in a long time. Um, very unnecessary. So 
songs kind of start getting into that overproduction where there's just little things happening and then uh, maybe you see them live and, and those things are, you know, from a Mac book or something. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling, kind of a little rant, uh, but not taking anything away from what Silent Planet does because I think that that kind of suits them. They're, uh, they're, they're awesome. Just an observation. I'm betting that's kind of the thing. Yeah, 30 Seconds to Mars. He does kind of have a Jared Leto thing. Um, the Misery Garden Rejection song, Atmospheric. Um, let's do, I did say Cattle Decapitation. I haven't, I've only heard like one or two songs from them. So let's do that song, Prophets of Loss. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. Easy. I'm a little scared. Straight up black metal chords to my ears. Scale the summit. I saw them live, we might listen to them. He's beating the fucking snare like it owes him money. This is, I love it all, but I, I, my brain can't even comprehend what's going on. And I mean that as a compliment. I just, this is a lot. This is a lot. Let's go. Is he using a trigger for his double bass? He's got to be, right? Last beat's like fucking crazy, man. Yes. Okay. I don't fucking know who's not using a trigger, man. I, I'm not everybody's drum tech. Respectfully. <laughs> What's up, Monster? Yeah, whatever sounds good. Later, man. Getting butt raped by some cattle decapitation, man. The best way I can describe this song. Has anybody seen the movie Seven with Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey? Oh man, the guy, um, what was the sin that he committed? And Kevin Spacey strapped the, the blade strap on and made him fuck the prostitute with the blade strap on. That's these guys, if they were a movie. Not even Rishler yet. I think 
I'm dying right now. Being dragged to hell. It's awesome. Texas time zone. That's right, baby. Yeah, that was a weird vocal, but really cool. He looks like The Undertaker from uh, WWE. That's what he looks like. God, man, they're just, you know, I, I can't make these guys a regular listen. That might be uh, too much for me. I think I am. I, I don't know what my preference is. I, I've always been into to Prague, but um, that's the cool thing is I just respect everything mostly. <laughs> uh, that was just, again, it's so hard for me to, um, even begin to know what's going on musically there. Just heavy. It's just heavy and fast. I think that's, that's what it is. Makes me feel full. Like I just ate a big steak dinner. Um, let's see here. Gojira. Uh, we're going to stray from Gojira right now. Um, you guys want something chill or you want something, uh, heavy? Have your chill, and then I'll go back up the list and, and pick something that's been suggested. Saliva? Man. Going back. Hack rude. Chill. Daylight Dies, Ghosting, a mix of chill and heavy. That sounds like a good idea. I thought Daylight Dies was... I thought you were talking about the Kill Switch Engage album. Which is a decent album. Um, what was it called again? Uh, uh, bu, 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 Daylight Eyes Ghosting. Any of you guys get ghosted? All right. Random. Is this it? I already have to pee, and then it's got this like raining on a rock thing. Oh, thanks, Haunter. All right. I see you, man. I appreciate that. We'll listen to some car bomb. Like Riverside. like a suspended chord it was kind of cool the harmony you guys are making a great stream today keeping with the same uh, mood it's, it's awesome I say that we just had cattle decapitation but there's a theme here What I'm trying to say is you guys just know what I like. You, you know how to take it up and take it down. That's it's a good stream. Oh 
man, I miss you too. Yeah. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. Great tone, man. Fantastic guitar tone. favorite kind of guitar solo. Say that, that you'll be so proud of me for recognizing this band. Um, hang on. Sorry. Hang on. Let me get Car Bomb ready. There's Blackfield playing right away. I love Blackfield. Um, let's see. Car Bomb, what was it? Let me go back here and see. Solid gray, okay, we're gonna get that ready. What was that song that's gonna bother me now? Hmm. I thought it shows everything that I, like, thumbs up or whatever. Um. Oh, see all songs, here we go. Sorry, this is not the most, I just, I gotta know because you guys might want to listen to this song later. I know it was Daylight Dies. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, Woke Up Lost, Daylight Dies. It's an excellent song. That's where I've heard them from. Okay. Car Bomb, Solid Gray. Is this, okay, two minutes long? It's a dollar a minute. Here we go. Thanks for the... What's happening here?
Uh, I think that's it. That was that was nuts, man. That's like uh, the perfect soundtrack if I walked into an abandoned house and the strobe lights kicking it, and then somebody comes out and stabs me to death like eighty nine times. That's the song that I would die to, probably. That's that scene is is uh, it matches this song. That was crazy. There are parts of that that I really liked, and parts of that that I think I need to listen to it again to uh, pick up on everything to see if it's for me. But um, man, some stuff I've never heard today. Uh, let's see. Keep changing that. Uh, the Deer Hunter. We did some Deer Hunter last time. Um, Muse. Eh, Muse. Not really a Muse movie. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, here's a question. What's some of your desert island discs? Oh, man. Um, that's a good question. Here's one that will uh, throw, you, throw you off. Collective Soul. Um, one of my favorite bands of all time. Dosage. That album by them. Um... I love the guitarist, their lead guitarist, Ross Childress. He was one of my favorites growing up, still is. And I had, I've had the opportunity to talk to him several times. And uh, I early on like fell in love with, that's where I fell in love with the wah pedal, not Kirk Hammett, but uh, Ross Childress and the song um, Heavy by Click of Soul, really mainstream. But he just has a really cool uh, tone. In Flames, Disconnected. Um, Collective Soul is so good, man. I'm, I'm friends with a lot of those guys now. They're like really cool because now now they're not popular anymore. Um, so you can kind of friend them on Facebook or whatever and they'll, they might chat with you. Phantom Fear by Architects. Um, yeah, you should have picked a longer song, man. It's a waste of your $2. Sucka. Uh, let's see here. What about... Um, What's Loathe? White Hot? Isn't that like a... That's bro metal, isn't it? Here, we'll do some bro metal. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I don't... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm not right. I don't know. White Hot. D Dermaniac, your chats are showing up. Did you suggest something? Um, oh, The Body Full of Hell. Earth is a Cage. Okay, let's do that. I haven't uh, taken one of your requests in a while. Oh, I typed in your username. Stupid. The body. What was it? Full of hell. Earth is a cage. Okay. I feel like Code Orange is bro metal too. Y'all think Code Orange? You know what bro metal is. You know. Um, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I don't know. Is this 34 minutes? Oh, it's a whole album. God dang. You know it's going to be crazy when, in a whole, when a whole album is 34 minutes. You don't know what bro metal is, so if you wear like, I don't know. I don't want to come off as a dick. Whatever. Um, you know, stuff that, that dads might jam out to and think that are, uh, th think it's really heavy. Um, kind of like Five Finger Death Punch, bro metal. Um, I fucking hate that band. Anyway. The body in full of hell. Hell, excuse me. I'm so sick. Code Orange is not at all. Okay, I don't remember. I've only listened to one, one song. Bro job. <laughs> it's only gay if you fall in love. All right. Earth is a cage. Here we go. Sounds like your rhythmics. It's like Annie Lennox. Or Depeche Mode. Which is a good thing. Fucking Dermaniac, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Dad metal, no such thing here. Hey, this right here. This song is like...
paint the fucking walls. Production might, it, I don't really have the best sound going on here, so it might also be my sound source. Or it might be completely intentional. I have a feeling it may be intentional. It's supposed to sound maybe raw. I feel like I crapped my pants a little bit or something. That's how this makes me feel, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's supposed to sound dirty. I kind of thought so, yeah. Well, are we still good? Somebody call. Oh, Primordial Sound is awesome, man. Uh, that's, that's a fantastic... I actually did a painting on my channel of that. We can listen to the rediscovered version. I haven't done anything on that. That might be kind of cool. I could really tell tell you about that song is my dog's looking at himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I like the way he kept the, the kick drum going. Um, sorry, buddy. Not probably not for me. Um, but hey, that was a lot of fun to listen to though. Still, even though I, I didn't really like it, it was still fun to listen to. Um, what is saliva click boom? Isn't that's a um? Is that I'm thinking a pod. Saliva click boom. Oh shit! I almost reported myself. What's up, vegan nation? Oh, what's going on? Um, let's do. I want to do some contortionist because I like the way that Michael. Um, what's his face sings primordial sound. You just want to see my reaction, and I hope it was everything that you hoped for. Basically, sounded like Nickelback to me. Just hot garbage. I'm just kidding. Uh, I fucking love this band. It's like one of my favorite bands. How does he make that sound sound cool? I know, right? so bad guys this might be my my last shit this dude looks like harry potter on the guitar they all look really young Oh, the, dr the drums. 
drums, man. I, for some reason, I love their drummers so much. He has a lot of really cool uh, videos too, like showing how he lays down tracks and mixes different things. Um, Michael something, I forget his name, but really cool. But um, I feel like crap. I've, I've had like a viral strep infection in my throat. I went to the doctor today, but I wanted to show some commitment to the channel and kind of push through. Um, a couple of ideas. So if, uh, if I'm feeling a little bit better, what I'd like to do is kind of have like a special week to catch up on bands that I'm really interested in. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Haken. Oh my God, you guys hear that? So I, th I thought it'd be cool to kind of like sit down one day and devote like an hour um, to making some, uh, Michael Lester, thank you, yes, to making uh, um, like, you know, four or five reactions to a band that we haven't really covered a lot. I know, you guys could hear that background, that was crazy. So like have like a Haken week where I'll sit down and record those in one sitting and then upload them throughout the week and they don't kind of be caught up, well not, well not caught up, but you know what I mean, uh, versus kind of um, over the next two years we might listen to three more Haken songs, who knows, or do that with Contortionist or do that with Mashuga or whoever. So um, you have to let me know if this video stays up, it might, you know, you can kind of chime in and let me know, but I think we're gonna end it from now so I can get some rest, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. A lot of crazy shit today, rap, and then 
whatever Dermaniac suggested, whatever you want to call that. Death fucking death. That's what I'm going to call it. All right, guys.